Hi guys and welcome back to DIY and Me. So today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Coco PPA app. I've seen a lot of people are quite confused and struggling with how to use it, but once you've got it down once, then it is so easy. A little word of warning, it's slightly addictive. I mean, it can take a little while to go through and find the things that you want, but there are thousands and thousands of icons and wallpapers to choose from. So you can literally sit there for hours and hours and hours, picking and choosing which icons you want to jazz up your iPhone or iPod or such. Um, I'm doing it on an iPod because I don't have an iPhone. So we're gonna get going with the tutorial and then we'll come back at the end and I will go through where you can learn more and other ways that you can come and find me. Let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, I thought I would show you quickly what my iPod looks like. So this is my first page. It has my Facebook, my Instagram, and all those kind of things. My Pinterest, my YouTube. And then if I flick across, these are a lot of the blogs that I like to read every day. And if you go all the way over to the end, you can see these are all of the original applications. So we're gonna start by opening the Coco PPA app. You can download this for free in the App Store. You can see at the top we have icons, wallpapers and stamps. I'm not going to show you how to do the wallpapers, it's really simple, you just find one you like and you save it to your device. So we go through all the icons, you can see you have the new ones, you have the popular ones, all those kind of things. And then we can search at the bottom, categories, tags or colours, and then you can just type in a search word, so Facebook or YouTube for example. I'm going to search by colours. Now normally I am a pink girl. But to blend in with the rest, I'm going to go for blue. And it's going to basically pull up all of the icons that have been tagged with blue. So you can see there are a lot to choose from. It takes a second to load, but... And there are pages and pages and pages of icons. So I'm just going to choose this cute little one with the anchors. And it will take you to this screen. So we want to hit the set up link button. So here you have the choices, app search, phone call, email, message, URL. These are all covered in my blog post, so you can go there to read it. I will quickly show you the app search one. So this is the easiest one to use for Facebook and YouTube and Pinterest and all those popular applications. Basically the URLs are already set into the program. Once it's loaded you will see. So if you're setting up one of these links, just tap on the one you want to choose and it will set it up. You can also search in there. So if you can't find it here, search the word Pinterest or something and it will pull up Pinterest. If you can't find what you're looking for there or you want to do a blog for example or something like that, you need to enter in the URL. You also need to do the URLs for the other standard um, iPhone apps. So here we're going to do the URL. I'm going to set up the icon for my own blog. So you type in the address, so HTTP, then these two little dots. What are they called? It's been driving me crazy, trying to think of what these things are called. If anybody knows, please leave me a comment. So the two forward slashes, and then the name of the site, so www.diy and me wrong button dot com now this is not easy doing this behind a camera but hey ho we're doing our best so press done in the top corner here so you can name your icon so I'm obviously going to give it the name DIY and me you can add gloss here if you want to, just slide it across. You can see it adds a little shine on the top. I don't like it, but if you do, go for it. So we press the OK button. And we get the confirmation screen. Do we want to go to Safari and add the icon to your home screen? Yes, we do. It'd be pretty pointless if we said no. There we are. So, it tells you on this screen what to do. Press this button or this button depending on your your device. Advice, oh yeah, yeah. So, we can see here we want to add it to the home screen. 
check that your icon that you've chosen is in this section. Sometimes something different comes up and if you click on it, that will be your icon. So just make sure it is the icon that you chose and we're going to add it to the home screen. You again get to change your name if you want to. I'm gonna leave it as DIY and me and press add and it will take us straight to the screen. Let's come up closer so you can see I have my icon, DIY and me. Simple as that. So there we have it, easy enough. If you want to learn more or in more detail of how to do it, I have a blog post from a little while ago um, really listing in detail how to do everything on there. So I will leave the link in the info bar below. When I upload this video, I'm also gonna do another blog post with some of the URLs you need to change some of the original icons. You wasn't able to change them like this in the past, but I guess people have found out how to do it. You can't change all of them, but you can still change some of them, so that's great. Warning, warning, warning. Do not delete your original app. Just move it to a different screen so you don't have to look at it, but we are just creating shortcuts. So if you delete the original app, you will delete the entire app. Do not delete the original app. Oh my God, can you imagine? Um, I will link below all the other ways you can come and find me, my blog, my Facebook, my Instagram. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. You can also leave me a comment on my blog and I will reply to you all as soon as I can. I hope you have a great day. Bye. They once was. Um, shut up, bird. Which details in... Oh, blah, blah, blah. I will leave the link in the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn helicopters, what's going on today? Yes, 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 come on. Blah, blah, blah.